Hi guys, so it is another hot day in LA today and thank god for this Cirque du Soleil fan I got from Grand Park because I'm dying in my room and when the heat dies down I'll probably go run because it's cooler outside than in my room and because I'm trying to lose body fat so I've been working on myself so I did fess up and start running and you guys have no reason not to run anymore because I'm running and can you see the difference? Just kidding. <laughs> can you see any changes to me besides the light because it's actually bright today I'm not filming at night. Um, I wanted to do a, like a follow-up video because I frankly don't have time to do things on just one item and I don't really have much to say so it would be like really short videos and there's no point in that so oh before I start is it my tank awesome and this is what I like most about it isn't the back cool <laughs> but anyways um, so so Mr. Dirty Home at Tumblr.com asked me how this was and this is the Shiseido and this is a Shiseido Extra Smooth Sun Protection Lotion that lots of girls really like on YouTube but I'm one of those special people that don't like it as much because after wearing it for a while I thought I was wondering why I was having more acne than usual and I was trying to figure out if it was what I was eating or if it was something I'm, I'm doing different and then I realized after looking at the packaging of this that it was extra waterproof. So if you, I guess girls that do like this, they wear makeup every day and they wash their face really well. So if you're really low maintenance, you'll probably want to avoid this if you don't wash your face as well. And what I don't like about this is that it clogs my pores really badly. Like I would get acne like right above between my lips and my upper lip where the skin looks different and it would hurt so much that I just was learning what was wrong with me so I stopped using this for a little over a week and a half and my skin's more normal I still have acne but it's not as horrible as it was before and you might probably see it if you look really carefully that my face is really flat and it's really spotty so I've been trying to not have skin like I was a teenager again and what I like about this pretty much is that it feels like a primer so when you put on your face it feels really smooth which is why it says extra smooth sun protection lotion and I guess that part of it is why I get acne because it clogs my pores so when girls say like Oh, it makes me less oily. Maybe it's because maybe it's because it clogs my pores so much that it makes me less oily. Until I erupt in acne. Yeah. <laughs> this thing also smells really good, but the negatives definitely outnumber the positives. So make sure if you want to buy this that you wash your face really well, probably with. A makeup remover and then a cleanser and also you need to shake this before applying it all the time because there's a ball inside like you can hear it when you shake it and for an alternative to the sunscreen I've been recommended by Big Fat Jew at Twitter to try Peter Roth Thomas's powder sunscreen which I will definitely try eventually it's just that I haven't found a good deal on it yet so I've been putting it off, but otherwise it's definitely on my to-get list, even though it's like $30. And then I have the Face Shop's Calendula Essential Moisture Emulsion. And I've done a review on the Mild Lotion before, and this is much thicker. So this is probably more of a winter type lotion you would want. 
I initially thought that this might have been causing acne for me, but then I realized it was my sunscreen instead. This lotion is okay. I wouldn't really recommend it. I actually prefer the mild lotion better because it's much less thicker, so I feel like my skin will be more. But otherwise, if you wanted an affordable lotion, it smells like hotel lotion. And then next, I'm gonna talk about the IQ Derma Serum that I have used like half of it. Focus. I said that someone compared it to using Astroguide on their face, but I don't feel like it's like putting lube on your face. I actually like using this, and it reminds me of like putting peppermint on my face. And you're supposed to use this. You're supposed to use this in the daytime, and you just apply one or two pumps to your face. But then I use four, so I think it's because I have a big head. But <laughs> if you ever catch this for ten dollars, I would. Recommend trying it. It could help your blemishes and help your skin look more livelier or brighter, as they say. And then, lastly, uh, and lastly, I mentioned this in the Beckham underwear video, but I mentioned it in the info box. So if you didn't catch it, because I still see this at H and M, and it was like buy one get one half off, but uh, there's still a lot of them. So. If you do consider buying it, I would not recommend buying their briefs because it gives me wedgies, and and someone else also told me it gave them wedgies, so I would avoid getting this one. I would avoid getting the briefs, and definitely go for the trunks because the trunks are awesome. They make my butt look awesome, <laughs> but they're not nowhere as good as you know like Emporio Armani wins. But anyways, the briefs aren't shaped really well, so they won't really contour to your privates. <laughs> so yeah, definitely doesn't conform to your body. So anyways, that's all I had to say. Go Team USA!